Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this neat and clean looking flat design and also how to make sure that the outlines for your design are perfect and neat and clean as well. Also, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create strokes and how to create drop shadow in sketchbook. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So guys, I just realized that I was not really recording. So I'm just going to again show you guys what brush I'm using and also what are the settings that I actually did for the brush. So I'm using soft air brush and you can see the icon of the brush. Also, I only did one setting, which was this um, opacity with light pressure, just because I wanted a nice pigmented lines all throughout my drawings. And for the color, I'm using this really dark blue kind of color. And I don't really like using black color for, for my outlines when I'm doing my flat designs. And also, here I used predictive text to get these clean looking outlines. And I actually keep it up to 3 and sometimes I go up to 5 as well. So I kind of play around with it just to see what looks the best. And as you guys can see, I'm kind of really struggling to create that um, eye right there because the, I don't know for what reason the predictive stroke was not really working. So yeah so that is what i am doing right here and um i'm actually creating this really cute looking pizza and i'm just creating his mouth his eyes and the shape is pretty much simple to create so if you want to create something similar you can just take a screenshot from this video and then you can create one using this sketch as reference i really don't have any problems with it yeah, but if you do create something similar or something out of my tutorials, then do not forget to tag me on Instagram and I will link it down in the description. And yeah. So now once my outlines are ready, I'm just going to color them up almost as if I'm like, um, you know, playing around with a coloring book and it was fun to do um, because I'm just always doing these uh, realistic looking artworks and when I do something when I create something really simple and really flat I actually really enjoy it so here what I'm doing is I am actually creating a new layer for every shape so for the yellow part I created this new layer now I'm just gonna fill in the outer part of the pizza I'm just creating another layer for it as well and for those inner circles that we have on the pizza I'm, I'm gonna be creating a new layer as well now the reason why I do this is because we are gonna be adding some shadows and highlights some harsh looking shadows and highlights on those areas and so we don't really want to mess up any other part of that design so what i do is i once i'm ready with all of those parts and once i'm done with coloring them i actually go ahead and lock the layers so that the color doesn't go out of the shape so first i'm actually filling his eyes in and adding that white dot right in the middle of the eyes just to make him look cute and also i created his tongue as well his little tongue and i actually switched the colors i actually went ahead and used a really bright yellow color so now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually taking a darker version of that yellow color and i'm adding this harsh looking flat looking shadow on the right hand side also again it doesn't really matter if you're creating a flat design or something realistic you'll you always have to keep in mind the light source for all of your drawings or whatever you're creating. It doesn't really matter if it is flat or it's realistic. So um, I'm just creating these shadows on the right hand side of this design. And on the left hand side of it, I'm actually using a really light color of that yellow color. So now that I'm done with the yellow part of it, I'm just going to go ahead and jump onto the layer where I filled some parts with red color. 
and I'm taking this slightly darker color and I'm adding these little circles inside that shape. I'm also going to be using the similar color to create those harsh shadows and again going to be using a lighter version of this color for the highlights as you guys can see it on the screen. So now that I'm done with um, the yellow and the red part of it, I am doing the same thing for the orange part of the design and I am choosing a darker color and a lighter color um, of the same similar orange color. <laughs> I was lost. So that's what I'm doing right here as well and you don't really have to use predictive text at this point you can just you know create shadows and highlights and it doesn't really matter if they look perfect or not guys if you want you can always go ahead and pick up white color and add a little dot of that white color just to make them just to make your flat design pop a bit more and it does actually work really well but i was just testing it out but i ended up not really using it so once you're done with all of that just merge all of the layers and duplicate that layer and add the layer which is at the very bottom just um, lock that layer and add white color to it now once you're done with that just increase the size of that layer now i'm doing this to create strokes around that flat design and you can completely skip this step or you can just go ahead and use photoshop to create strokes because strokes are perfect when you use photoshop here they are not really um, well defined um, as compared when we do it on photoshop i hope that makes sense you guys so that is what i'm doing right here i'm just kind of adjusting it it still looks good though so yeah now once you're done with that just duplicate that white layer once again and this time fill it in with black color and make sure to keep it right at the very bottom now we are going to be using this for drop shadow adjust it and decrease the opacity of the layer again you can completely skip this step but i kind of like to do it when i am creating flat designs so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's quick cute tutorial and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys the next time